What's up guys, I'm redoing a video that I previously did on how to get on to the Wax blockchain. If you're looking to create NFTs and you don't want to pay outrageous gas fees, the place to be is the Wax blockchain and Atomic Hub. So let me walk you through how to do that. So you're going to go to, um, you could just type in wax.io and it's going to take you to this website. Obviously, this is the worldwide asset, asset exchange. You can click on create wallet. Um, because I'm logged in, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, this is what you're going to be greeted with. It's really, really easy. You can create an account with your Facebook account, a Google account, um, Twitter account, or your email, right? So you're going to go ahead and create the Wax Cloud wallet. That's the first thing. Now, I want to give you a disclaimer here that you need to understand. This is for this is for newbies, right? People who are new to the space. Um, with a Wax Cloud wallet, you have to understand that the wallet is a custodial wallet. That means that Wax has the private keys. If you want to own your own private keys, you will need to use a different wallet. And I can make a separate video of how to do that. Um, it's basically using another wallet called the Anchor Wallet, which I can get into, but just to make it friendly for the newbies, this is sufficient. You can use this. It's pretty awesome. Um, go ahead and create your account. Another recommendation I wanna give you is to enable two-factor authentication, okay? Get yourself that Google Authenticator when you can after you have the wallet and set up 2FA so that you have a, it's more secure, right? If somebody gets a hold of your Wax Cloud wallet, they still need that 2FA code to be able to do anything, okay? So once you create the account, the Wax Cloud wallet account, this is what it's gonna look like, okay? So you're gonna be greeted with, once you log in, your wallet address is this, that's mine, okay? You have the dashboard, you have, this is where your NFTs are, all the NFTs that you have. Um, this is where you can find all the dApps. Now, a question that I keep getting a lot of is how do I get some wax? Okay, that's a really good question. Um, and there's the little bit of friction there, right? Obviously, if you're doing this, you should already have like some crypto, like maybe a MetaMask already, a MetaMask wallet. If you don't have a MetaMask wallet, you would go to metamask.io you're gonna need a wallet, okay? A, a MetaMask wallet, which is an extension, a browser extension that goes up here on Chrome, okay? You're gonna buy some crypto from like Coinbase or something like that. You're gonna get some Ether. Um, that would be the easiest way to then get Wax, okay? So back to this. Um, the way you could get some Wax, depending on where you live, right? You click here, it says buy Wax. You can use MoonPay. Now MoonPay, I believe, does have like a sign up process and there's like, verification and all that so it's kind of a pain in the butt to do but you can do it that way you can pay with the credit card you need to verify your identity um, simplex may work in your country uh, i'm not sure where you're you know watching this from the easiest way to do it is change now which is crypto to crypto so that means you're going to buy wax with like bitcoin or ethereum okay and now sometimes this doesn't work because the trading pair is inactive so let's just check that out now Okay, yeah. So obviously the pair is not working, so you can't do it. You can check back later. Um, what I believe this is is there's not enough liquidity right there at Change Now to swap out some ether for Wax. But essentially, you would put in however much you know ether you wanted here, and then it would tell you how much you're going to get in Wax P. And then you click Exchange. You put in your your address where you want the Wax P sent to, and then you're going to transfer some ether ethereum to the address that they give you okay and it's all done automatically after that it's pretty easy pretty straightforward i'll try to make a separate video of doing this live when it's actually working um, the other option would be to go somewhere like bittrex um, which is an exchange um, that to do that is kind of outside of the scope of this video i don't want to discourage newbies from from getting into this so if you need to do that um, you can join actually join our group um, I have a group here um, called Teach Me How to NFT. Lead page. Sorry about that. If I can get to it. Okay. So it's a new group. It's only got 21 members right now. I'm doing some NFT giveaways. I'm doing some people who are the first to come into this group. And 
actually engage with the group. I'm, I'm giving giving out some NFTs for free that will hold rewards. So you're going to be entitled to like NFT drops in the future. We're going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff in this group. So if you have any questions, you can go into this group and ask the group. Um, but back to the Wax Cloud Wallet. Okay. So yeah, that's how you would buy Wax. Okay. So now you have your cloud wallet. Okay. The dApps is like the decentralized apps and the marketplace that is freaking awesome and where you can mint your nfts for super cheap like basically no fees what it costs is resources okay and because you have a wax cloud wallet like your resources are basically covered um so here you'd click on atomic wallet or on atomic hub sorry and i'm already logged in with another account um now the this is going to be for a separate video. If you want to get a cool username, I can show you how to do that. Um, let me actually go back and show you where that is. Um, you would go to down here, the cog and click create account. Now you would need to create a new public key pair, which that would be a separate video if you're interested, but I just want to show you where it is, right? You can create the username up to 12 characters, but remember you can't do this without a, a, a secondary public key pair, which I can show you, like I said, in another video, but I'm not going to go into that now. Let's go back to Atomic Hub. Here we are at Atomic Hub. To create a NFT, right, you would click on Creator. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a collection, okay? So you click on Create Collection. You're going to create a collection name, okay? Now this name has to be 12 characters. It can't be less. It can't be more. Um, you can only use the numbers one through five and lowercase letters, okay? Um, you can click the display name, uh, website URL that you want to link the collection to describe the collection here. And then this part is really important. Okay. You're going to set the market fee, which is the, basically the royalties that secondary sales will pay to you. So you can set it at 5%, 10%, 15%, whatever you like. Um, what I see a lot of is 10%. That's what we normally set our, our fee at so that if somebody buys one of our NFTs and then they resell it, we get 10% of that sale forever, basically. Okay. The other part is you can add a, add a photo here. You can add a JPEG or you can add a GIF if you like. Um, we have a GIF on ours, a um, little bit of animation there, but essentially that's how you would create a collection. Okay. Because I already have collections. I'm not going to keep creating new ones. So you can see the collection that we already have. It's a project that we have that we're launching. It's called Crypto Zootopia. Looking for artists and other collaborators to work with us. Um, it's a gamified fun um, collection. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to actually create your first NFT. So here in this, um, here's where my collection set up. Okay. You have what's called schemas, which is like groupings within your collection. And then you have within the schema, let me show you that. You can do, again, create the name. This can be less than 12 characters now. Um, can't be more, but you can create a schema with less than 12 characters. And you're going to add the attributes that you want. So the name of the thing is a text attribute. Image is going to be obviously an image. Um, and you can continuously add different attributes. You can have numbers, a floating point number, um, text, image, IPFS hash is how you would add a video, which that is going to go more in depth. I'm going to make a second video about how to do that, how to add a video to your NFT on the Wax blockchain. You would basically need to upload to the IPFS, which stands for Interplanetary File System. Um, you would need to upload the video there and then get the hash um, code and put that in here, right? So you would also, another big tip is to make sure that you use lowercase letters here because if you use like a some of this stuff is already built in like videos already a built-in functionality and if you put capital v instead of a lowercase v it won't work and it won't show up and then you can't erase that nft um afterwards you can burn it but it, it kind of it kind of causes an issue so just make sure you lose use lowercase on this site as of right now they might fix that in the future but anyway you'd add all the attributes here i'm not going to create a new schema because i already have plenty um so our, our NFT series is like a gamified series where artists and collectors participate and stuff. And so we have a schema already. Let me show you um, the scientific name for animal, okay? Because it's all about funny animals. And these are the attributes that I have. Name, image, the species, normie name, um, natural habitat, rarity. I give them a special power. Back image allows you to add a second image, which I'm going to show you what that looks like on an NFT. 
um, video, you see I messed up and I put capital V, it didn't work. So lowercase v does work. Um, and then NFT rewards is something that I'm using because I want to let people know that some of these NFTs come with special rewards like airdropped NFTs um, in the future, um, other perks and stuff like that. So there's, there's just so many things you can do with this. Um, so within the schema, okay, you have one more thing called, this is where you mint the assets. Okay, you can mint a new asset within the schema, which you're gonna add the image of whatever that NFT is gonna be. You're gonna add the account owner, which is your, it's gonna be your wallet address. I have a username here because I already did that, but yours would be, you know, J something dot wham. Okay, and you put that address there. You're gonna, you can do 10 at a time right here. Okay, you can do 10, you can mint 10 at a time and you click, you know, one or let's say 10. And then you'd fill out all these attributes that you already, you know, set. If you, when you pick the picture here, it's going to automatically populate the, the hash here. Okay, so you don't have to like do that twice. Um, but you basically fill all your attributes out um, and then click create asset and it would create your asset. Now I'm showing you that way, but that's not really the best way to do it. Um, if you want to save on resources. And again, this is super, super cheap, but the best way to do it is to scroll down here where it says templates. Okay. And you're going to create a new template. That means that you have, let's say you, you can set the max supply of that NFT. And then also you don't have to re-enter the information over and over again um, when you're minting more of that asset. So let's say you want to release a, you know, a specific type of NFT and you only want there to be a hundred. So you'd add the image here. You'd set the supply to let's say 100. The, you'd fill these out just as you would when you're gonna mint the asset. But the cool thing is once you fill this out and then you create the template, okay? Um, you're, gonna, you're gonna authorize that with the WaxCloud wallet. You're gonna get these templates, right? So whenever I have, let's say I have, um, so we just released this uh, Trash Panda. Okay, Trash Panda is the first release, one of the first releases, there's a few releases in the Crypto Zootopia series. Okay, so this is, this is a template. Okay, I can use this to now create mint an asset. Let me mint one really quick. So I don't have to fill out anything. I can just pick the asset, the, the template that I want, and it's going to automatically populate everything, everything that needs to be there. Okay, now there's no video set here because I didn't add a video to that one and there's no NFT. I added these um, after the fact. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep that one this way, but we will add more rewards to that in the future. So then I click Create Asset. It's using the template, I click Confirm. Now I'm using the Anchor Wallet for this account, so I have to log in um, and approve it on my Anchor Wallet. On the wax cloud wallet you would just be able to approve it here within here okay um, and now that asset is created so what i can do to see it is click on inventory and you have to unclick only whitelisted nfts there's a there's a whitelisting process so now you can see that it's there okay you can click on it you can see who the owner is all the you know the collection the schema the template ID. Now that back image I'm showing you here, if you if you added a back image, which you would need to upload that on Pin, Pinata is the, is the place to do it. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do that in this video because I don't want you to have to like struggle with it. Um, there's a back card here. We have the back of the card and the front of the card. Um, and you can see all the information here, okay? So that's how you would essentially create a, um, a NFT on the Wax blockchain on, atom on Atomic Assets. Let me show you one more thing um, within... Okay, excuse me. I wanna show you one more thing here. Um, on the collection, I'm gonna show you where the videos are and how they work. Um, so I just, this is like a promo. Um, this is like a promo NFT that I'm gonna be giving out. Um, under the schema, it's a different schema called Gorilla Vibes. Now, this is just a simple GIF, but it's really a video. Okay, 
Okay, so you can see that's how you put the video there, but the way that I did that was the video gave me a hash, right, on Pinata. And I'm gonna actually go to that right now just so you could see how to do that. It's pinata.cloud, okay? And since I'm already logged in, you need to create an account there. But basically, once you have an account there, you can click on upload, click on file. Let's choose a file. Let me just show you how this works. I'm gonna pick something here. Um, here's a funny thing I did, uh, asking for a basket, right? So I'm gonna click upload. This is uploading it to the interplanetary file system. Okay, so now I have my, my hash here. And so if you did a video, as you see the video for that NFT is right there. I would just click that hash. And so you would need to click that hash, go back to Atomic Hub, right? And let's go back to the creator, U Collection, and let's say uh, Gorilla Vibes. Okay, so if I wanted to mint a new asset, you would put the video, that, that hash here, copy paste it here, okay? When you copy paste that here, when you create the asset, the video will show up as I just showed you. So that's how you would add a video. I just wanted to, that's how you'd add a video and that's also how you could add a second image, a back image, right? So you would just go, because I had an image here, click on it, copy it, Okay, and so for back image, there's no back image on this on this collection. Um, not in Gorilla Vibe, Gorilla Vibes, but in the animal one here. Okay, so when I mint an asset for back image, here it is, lowercase letters, you'd paste that here. So just make sure you paste the right thing in the right place. For an image, for the back image that you want it to show up as a secondary image like I showed earlier, you put it here for a video, make sure you have the video hash and you put it here. It's the same kind of thing, but that's how you would do that. Um, if you guys have any questions, we do have a Telegram group. Um, I just started one for this channel, t.me slash cryptoverts. You can jump in there and ask a question really easily. I can get that instead of like trying to use YouTube to, you know, comment back and forth, you can actually use this um, and be able to talk to me quickly. Also, again, I do have this group that will allow us to share things and communicate and build a community and stuff. And I am giving away stuff in that group. So anyway, if you have any questions, hit us up, hit me up on Telegram or join the group and ask the question there. And I'd be happy to help. I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. All right. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.